But today, we're looking at the brand new Apple Watch SE, the second generation SE, released today as I record this. Picked this up from the Apple Store this afternoon. It's my first ever Apple Watch. So it's the Apple Watch SE, the second generation. So it has the same chip as the Series 8 and the Ultra, amazingly. So uh, let's get into it now. We should have here the midnight color with a Nike sports band. So let's check it out. Now, um, this one's already sort of pop, popped off a little bit. So <laughs> you can see these are sort of custom put together in store to fold, fold together into a complete package because, oh, you know, people can pick different bands to go with different watches. It's like a mix and match. Uh, so let's uh, just fold this open and right away you'll see on top well there's actually two boxes in here and on top is the watch box i'm gonna spin that around there so you can see that and the band box so we have these two so nice outer packaging to hold it all together for uh, shipping and transportation that they put together. It's a very, it's ingenious how Apple come up with this stuff, but that's cool. So this is the again the uh, uh, Apple Watch SE second generation, which is the brand new version of the SE. So we've got the watch and we've got the band. Let's do the band first. Now you can get various different types of bands. But this is the Nike uh, sports band in black to match the midnight watch. And so you pull off the little tab. Oh, here we go. Pop it open. And it should slide out. Let me just move the watch to the side so we can have a look. Got some documentation there. So let's put that with the box. Apple Watch with the Nike Swish. Some instructions on the packaging as to how to put it together. Now, it looks like there's like two bands. Actually, there is two bands. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like this is the real one, this is the fake one, but now these are two different lengths. They give you two different lengths for the bottom half. So there's one bottom, and there's a second bottom, in case you've got a thicker arm. And obviously this is the end that goes uh, on the Apple Watch regardless, and a little bit of a tab there that sort of goes on the special uh, closing mechanism so we've got two bottoms and a top we've got some instructions uh, by diagram of how they all go together but can't do anything with that until we actually get the watch itself so let me just move that packaging out of the way let's hit the actual technical part which is the watch so again, we've got to pull off this little tear tab, I think. It says that this needs to come off as well. So there's two ends. And I assume that it just pops off. Let's have a look. I've seen people do this on videos where they just sort of shake the box. <laughs> How do you get that to pop out because that seal on it is you know it's not a loose box it's a tight box I can't get this undone <laughs> may have to get some additional tools my trusty knife which I didn't think I'd need for this one so I didn't bring it with me on set ah right, here we go there's the box that's the, the lid of the box this is the watch clearly here on the left designed by Apple in California let's see what we've got in here we should have, this should be the documentation, and then underneath it here is the charging uh, mechanism for it. Let's pop that out, because that's important, because um, you need to charge these up regularly. And let's pull it all out of the very intricate uh, storage. And here we go, we've got a round section, Got a little bit of a concave surface there, so I'm assuming that's the side the watch goes on. And this end, it is 
believe it or not, USB-C. It's a USB-C there. Um, I'm not gonna, this camera's not gonna autofocus if I bring it closer, so I'm just gonna keep it near me. But USB-C, let's put that up here with the band. And what I'm doing now is just check out the documentation. Basically gives you a gist of uh, putting the uh, the uh, band on the watch and doing whatever you need to do and then how to charge it on that. That's actually the same thing. We've got two of those. Okay. And then just again some documentation. And yes, typical of Apple products, they don't give you any sort of like real practical quick start or manual. Maybe just some basic diagrams as we've seen on some of the boxing. Let's look at the highlighter. This is the Apple Watch itself. There's nothing else inside the box. That tray doesn't come out of the box. Let's uh, carefully take off the band and it's sort of stuck there. There we go. There we go now. This is the smallest one. This is the 40 millimeter one, not the 44 millimeter one. I didn't think I needed a big chunky boy on my wrist. Just keep it nice and clean, subtle. Now, I believe the digital crown, which is there, should, so I think that sits like that. So if it's on your left hand, you can come across with your right hand. I think that's how you do it. So let's see how easy it is to slide these bands in. Ah, I don't have any. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's the top half there. And wrapping around. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the short or the long. So let's go with the long first. Because if it's too long, it'll still at least fit on my wrist. It should. Yeah, I think the long one was the way to go. Even with the long one, that's pretty pretty small for my wrist. I don't think my wrist was that thick. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna need my phone to set it up. And my phone is doing the top down, so. There it is, with the band on. It's uh, the uh, Apple Watch SE, second generation. So it's got the latest chip in it. We've got it, it's in the midnight color. It's black, which means it's black basically around. And with the uh, Nike, sports band in a complimentary black. So I'm thinking I might need to charge this. So I'm gonna get charging on this and uh, figuring out how to get this set up for me to use and figure out all the things I can do with it. I have no idea all the, the bountiful things that I could probably do with this and I'm gonna have fun discovering that and maybe looking up a few tutorials along the way. That's the uh, unboxing of the Apple Watch SE second generation, AKA 2022 edition of the Apple Watch SE. I've got the GPS version in the 40 millimeter size, midnight black and the Nike sports band. Hope that was helpful of knowing what's in the box and how to pull it all out. Until next time, I'll catch you later.